the center undertook an initiative back when they opened to bring in a lot of public art into the space. So it's a, it's a little bit unusual in that sense when you travel around the country and go to different convention centers. It's not always a great display of public art. Sometimes they can be very sterile environments. So that was part of um, the branding of the convention center. We kicked off um, a large destination strategic plan initiative last year our, at our annual meeting, which always takes place in this building. Um, in that, we wanted to communicate to the community and our partners, hospitality partners in the community, that it is really about the entire community, all of Wake County, all 12 municipalities, not just the city of Raleigh. This building was funded on lodging tax and food and beverage prepared tax dollars. Uh, those are uh, dollars that are spent on hotel room stays, and we all pay food and beverage tax as citizens of Wake County, as well as the visitors. Every year there's been a different um, presenter in the cases. The beauty of it too is that there's 12 display cases and there are 12 municipalities in, the, in uh, Wake County. So our staff put together a plan, reached out to each of the town PIOs and the town managers and each of the towns curated artifacts to bring the display cases. Um, they'll run for a full year. And the exciting thing about that is on the back side of all this, I had mentioned our annual meeting where we did a big kickoff of this 10-year master plan, uh, strategic plan for hospitality and visitation, which is countywide. We will reveal that plan next August. So it's great that all the towns are here throughout the year while we're working through that, that plan. And the big reveal will come in August. And the exhibit will wrap up. The items that we chose to put in our display case are based on the history of Nightdale itself. Nightdale has a strong history of agriculture, from farming pine trees even to tobacco. Nightdale has been the place that people want to come to start something. To the left we have a picture of Midway Plantation, uh, which was uh, built in 1848, uh, before the town of Nightdale started, but also is uh, part of the Nightdale's rich history of agriculture. Uh, we also have pictures of downtown Nightdale pre and post the 1940 fire uh, that destroyed most of the downtown itself. Uh, we are now rebuilding downtown Nightdale to ensure its future. We also have pictures of uh, the Nightdale, the original Nightdale Fire Department, it's a volunteer fire department, as well as tobacco barns because tobacco was one of the founding agricultural products of the town. Uh, we now have uh, uh, Lassiter's Distilling, which is a rum distillery. We have a, uh, Oak City Brewing, which is a brewing company. We have the Mercantile. We also have Stained Glass Associates. There's a lot of great things to experience in the town of Nightdale, uh, including our Nightdale Station Park, which is our flagship park. And it's a 73-acre park with every amenity that you could possibly want. It has uh, amphitheater, it has uh, playgrounds, it has greenways, it has everything that anybody would want to need for a nice afternoon or evening out. I'm here today to help um, encourage people to come and see our display that we have of our town of Roseville. The purpose of, the, of this display is in celebrating our past and embracing our future. There's just different types of artifacts here, just a small collection of what we have on display in the museum. Um, we also have our old high school here. We also have a picture of our new high school which holds approximately I think 25 or 2600 students um, and that is grades 9 through 12. As we move forward we have a display of our police department, um, our parks and rec um, program, we have different shirts, um, different paraphernalia from them. A picture of our 4th of July fireworks that we hold each year in Roseville. It's a really big event in Roseville. We have people from all the different municipalities come and visit us um, on July 4th to see our display because it is pretty magnificent. This is a great opportunity to showcase why Garner is an excellent side trip, uh, you know, if you're, if you're visiting Raleigh. Um, you know, we, we showcase our parks, uh, the Veterans Memorial, which has become a great destination in recent years for us, and also uh, the Garner Performing Arts Center, which has nationally touring acts coming through uh, year-round, uh, and that's also another uh, great destination for our town. If you want to get away from the city for a bit and, and enjoy hiking in, in White Deer Park or Lake Benson Park, those are, those are great places to do that. Um, you can also get out on the water at Lake Benson and enjoy some boating or fishing. And we also wanted to showcase in this some of our, our independently owned businesses, uh, a craft brewery, Bryce's, a couple local uh, coffee shops, including one that, that roasts their own beans and, and is located in our historic downtown. So Garner is just a great side trip for anyone visiting Raleigh. And we're only uh, 10 minutes from downtown, so it's, it's really convenient. 
And uh, if, if you've come to Garner, you'll, you'll have a chance to do a little bit of a deeper dive into the Greater Raleigh and see why uh, the Raleigh region is always ranked as one of the best places to, to live or visit or, or work. What we chose to do is really um, showcase some of our photos. We have some excellent photography that, that shows off our destinations around town. And um, so that was an opportunity. And we also wanted to highlight uh, a lot of the great stuff that comes to Garner Performing Arts Center, including the Broadway Voices series, which is, uh, brings t some of the top Broadway talent to Garner for uh, really a fraction of what you would pay to see them on Broadway. A lot of people know that Garner Performing Arts Center has, has great shows year round, but we also um, have space inside that facility to, to showcase some of the visual arts, including some of our great local artists. Uh, one of whom is LeGrant Taylor. He's a, he's a spectacular local artist. Um, and, and we have others in Garner, and, and, and Garner Performing Arts Center um, you know, showcases the visual arts year-round, so that's a, that's a good thing for folks to know, too. Each one has a slightly different wrinkle uh, in what they can bring to a visitor, um, but I think the, each of the towns did a great job of kind of, one, kind of showing their history, and, and where they started, but also where they are in the current day. And then they also did a great job of backfilling with some of their key attractions. Uh, you see um, folks like Zebulon, they're highlighting the Mud Cats, or Wendell, who has uh, put a bottle of Boots Vodka in the display case, you know, from a distillery. These are all things that, that visitors, when they come to a destination like this, have an interest in doing, whether they're into sports and want to go take in a minor league baseball game, or they're into distilled spirits and want to come out to Wendell for a, a sampling of Boots Vodka. And we wanted to make sure that we were giving something back to each of the municipalities. There are probably upwards of 300 events in this building annually. Um, upwards of 400,000 people pass through this building. So this is an opportunity for us as a visitation organization to work with the towns, to try to get maybe somebody that's in here for a meeting, to maybe step off and get off the grid of downtown and, and explore the communities, get to the east side of Wake or the west side of Wake and explore all of our fabulous communities.